this video I want to concentrate on the settings here that we start off with with the Ansel and Tresh registers. So here I have stated Ansel is equal to 0 x 0 0. Now this is a hex a decimal value. Because I am setting these all as digital and not analog pins this is very easy to do using hexadecimal. So here we can see on our PIC 16F676 we've actually got eight pins that can be analog or we can actually use them as digital if we wish. To use them as digital we need to set the Ansel register and that's the first thing we need to do. So in the PIC datasheet table 2-2 we can see down here we have the Ansel register. We've got the eight pins and these are relating to the bit numbers for each of those pins. So here you can see we have a value of eight ones if you want them to be analog and we would switch this out to be eight zeros if you wanted them all to be digital. So this is how we work out what the hexadecimal value would be. So here we've got the eight bits that are available to us. Obviously bit zero is either a one or a zero. Then it multiplies in two for in the binary value of 228. So with all the bits set to one, the base 10 value would equal 255. And the hexadecimal value, the more being set as one, would be zero XFF. An alternative way we could write this would be Ansel equals zero, small b, and then eight zeros. And this would be the binary method for setting the register for the Ansel. If we required one or more of these pins to actually be analog, we could change whichever bit value you required changing to a one and that would then still work. So here I have set bit 0 as a 1 and bit 6 as a 1. So those two pins would then be allocated as analog pins. So in this case it would be pin 13 and pin 8 that we have set as analog pins. There is one other method we could use that I have seen some people using on the YouTube videos and that is this method here. So we could set it using this method which would be an Ansel bits dot ANSO equals zero and you would have to do that for each pin that you want to set as an analog pin or digital pin. That seems a little bit long-winded to me. And hopefully this explains the Ansel register to you. When it comes to the Tris register, here you can see in table 2.2, we only need to set bit 0 to bit 5. So we've got six bits we need to set to state whether the pins are input or output pins. Again, in the example I showed was using the hexadecimal, and here you can see we've got the table. So if we set all of the pins from 0 to bit 5 as 1s, the base 10 value would equal 63, and we end up with a hexadecimal value of 0x3f. And the rest of it is pretty well the same way you could set it up as with the other examples. So here you can see I've got just C in binary as 0 small b 1 0 0 0 1 so bit 0 and bit 5 have been set in this case as 1 so inputs and the rest are outputs. Thank you.